Hello and welcome back everyone and now I'm here with Megan's makeup and Cynthia styling. Hello ladies. Hello, Hello Chrissy. Chrissy. <laughs> How are you? Very well, thanks. Yeah, thanks for having us uh, back. <laughs> okay, well, they're regulars now, so they have to come back. All right, so we're going to start off with the, the makeup tips first, because we did have a question last week from a viewer that we didn't get a we chance did. to answer. We ran out of time. Yeah. Rafaela had asked how she can remove her makeup without mm. actually irritating the under eye area. So if you are wearing, let's say, waterproof mascara or thick concealer that does need a little bit of rubbing, mm -hmm. don't rub it. It irritates the skin. And you know, she even mentioned the word damage, which right. is true. You wanna be delicate. This under eye area is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's a different kind of skin. That's basically um, you know, um, an area on the face where you wanna take special care. So what you want to do is if you have some makeup that is um, waterproof or a bit, you've applied many layers, take it off in layers. You put it on on layers, don't expect it just to come off. At Which we do, don't we? We can't do You do. Expensive. And then and then you just, you know, you want to go to bed and, and think, you know, thank God that you're actually washing your face because some people just don't because it takes too long to take it off. But uh -huh. putting it on, take it off in layers. These are just simple discs. You can, if it's extra, you know, um, thick or waterproof, just put some makeup remover on there without, you know, if you're prone to irritation, without fragrances, without all the extras, you can get, mm -hmm. you know, oil free. But even if you, you know, like natural, you can use baby oil, you can use a baby wipe, you okay. know, baby wipes have those, um, have those ingredients to not cause a diaper rash like okay. you can use those to remove makeup so mm -hmm. you know just a normal makeup wipe but the tip the tip is that you actually saturate and let so just give a little hold press and you know let it sit there count maybe mm -hmm. you know to five be patient be patient mm -hmm. and what you're doing is actually setting in that makeup remover or that oil it's breaking up that um, makeup that's on your face to have it nicely right. swept away okay. and there you go so you know basically if you are prone to irritation the product that you do use look for one that doesn't have all the extras okay and, and these actual wipes are they good for removing makeup is it but it's no use it? no you would I mean I would recommend a proper cleanser and a toner right um, these are basically, if you're choosing to sleep in your makeup, which I do not recommend, um, that you, you know, at least to unclog your pores, use a simple makeup wipe, but it's not, definitely not a recommendation for ongoing makeup. Just one more question as well. Yeah. How about face wash? Because sometimes I just use a face, wa face wash. I um, can't say it. Face wash. Face wash. Yeah, that's fine. On my skin. <laughs> but if it is one that tends to be drying, be careful because you could be using the wrong one. So if it's right. drying, Put a moisturizer on after because some people find it tight. Yeah. Right. They want their pores to be so they get the one that fights you know the acne, but maybe that's not the proper face wash for their, mm. um, you know, for their. So if you feel tight after, then you need one with a little bit more moisture. And if you don't have one with moisture, put that moisturizer on okay. after. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what's this for? We've got it a little is a color, color wheel. wheel. Yes. So uh, just quickly, this is um, just a simple color wheel in an art store. You can find it in an art store. And people are always wondering what um, colors are complementary. So here I have it on pure green. This is the color of Chrissy's eyes. And everything underneath here, the purples, the oranges, the reds, those are complementary. So even if you're choosing uh, eyeshadow, you can see which eyeshadows that really work for your eye color, just making them pop. And you know, some people look for that direction mm -hmm. about which one. And right now we've got a reverse color wheel going on with Christy. She looks absolutely gorgeous. And you, you know, made me look absolutely you gorgeous. You look gorgeous. Stop it. But the we you know, we looked at this color wheel and we thought, nah, definitely it's gonna be complimentary. Don't be scared. Play around with it, be creative, and you know, it, it, it's amazing what ideas yeah. can come because you don't know, you know, mixing colors, what they're gonna do. This color wheel will tell you all you need to know. Brilliant.